Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another tutorial in this Django tutorial series. And today it's going to be a little bit different because today we're not just going to be talking about these, you know, uh, codes for views and everything. Today we are going to take a look at models.py. So like I told you in one of the first videos that models is basically database. So to understand it more, let me draw something over here. So a database, so there's a database and it has tables. And there are a bunch of tables and this is the database and each table has fields. And these are linked in such a way that it makes the program really smooth. So uh, this is really a vague concept what I'm teaching you right now over here, but let me explain it to you more uh, robust, easier way. So let's say uh, you have a database for the whole movie review website. I'm gonna explain it using the movie review website. So movie review is your database. And then the tables, so let's say the tables are going to be account, let's say movies, and uh, reviews. So these are, sorry, let me raise this real quick. So these are the first thoughts in my mind when it comes to creating table for movies. So, okay, what this account does, what this account does is, it will have the information about the username and it will have email the full name password and some other fields that we need and for the movies it's gonna have the name of the movie the director release date and maybe the cast or maybe the rating and for the reviews it's gonna have which movie are we reviewing so let's say the movie itself the comment which user reviewed it and what is the rating for the movie by the user so basically a database works like this it ha there's a database and then there's the tables, accounts, movies, and reviews. And each table has certain fields that are associated with the table. So as vague as it may sound right now, but when we start coding this, it will sound all easier for you. So let's just go right into writing our first table. So. Inside main models.py, we are going to create a table for movies. So class movie, and they are going to inherit from models.model. .model. And then inside the movie table, we are going to declare all the fields that it's going to have. So the first one is name. So name is going to be character field. It's going to consist all the characters, let's say, to kill a mockingbird or something. So it, for character field in Django models, it's going to be C H A R F I E L D, and the parameter that it needs to have is max length. It means what is the maximum length does the movie should have. So we are going to just set it for 300 for right now, but depending on what sort of field you're using, you can just set it out based on the data that the user is going to input. So name of the movie will say director, director, sorry, models dot character field because this is also a character field, and we'll just give it like three hundred again. We'll say cast. We'll do models dot character field. Max length is gonna be let's give it like eight hundred or something, and we'll give a description description of the movie is going to be it's going to have a lot of characters in it so we are going to say this is going to be a text field and it also needs to have a max length and the max length let's give it out 5000 
and uh, let's give it a release date we'll just say models dot date field this is just for the date and then uh, we will say uh, the average rating so average rating is going to be models dot integer field oh, sorry it's going to be a float field because it, the rating can be like you know 8.5 3.5 or whatever so float field and I don't I don't think there needs to be any other fields for right now we'll just set it out for up to these fields right now so after we have already declared these fields let's just comment here saying fields for the movie table and then we need to have a function called string self and it's going to return whatever you want to return let's say the name of the movie so this is basically gonna print out the string version of the name in the django admin so uh, also if you're using a different language and there are unicode characters you can also do unicode self return self dot name so that's gonna work as well so after you're done creating a table in the models you have to register them in admin.py so inside admin.py go ahead and import models to do that do from dot models import everything and to register the table just do admin dot site dot register and the name of the table which is movie so this will register it here is the movie model we are importing it in the admin and then we are registering it and like I told you before after you have made any changes to a database you need to run migrations so let's run python manage.py make migrations it says manage.py okay let's type it again oh I think it's in a different field yeah and let's just make migrations and it detects that we have created a movie model and we need to run migrate as well and then it says it applied the migrations and voila you've created a new database with a table called movie in it so in our next video we are going to explore this table a bit more like you will visually see what this table is and how you can add data inside it and for right now that's it and if you have any problems let me know in the comment section below and i'll try to answer all your questions and until next time thanks for watching guys